welcome back to the mobile homestead. Today's video is just going to be a real quick tutorial on how to thin or separate your seedlings so they're not competing with each other for nutrients in their tiny little cup they sprouted in. So let's get started. Got a big old pot of potting soil that I brought in from outside. Uh, right now all of these are in starting mix which is separate, a uh, completely different thing uh, than potting soil. It doesn't have really any nutrients. Its whole purpose is to just uh, be light and airy and get those seeds started. Um, so I'm gonna be mixing a little bit of that seed starter with this potting mix to get these guys going in these cups, so. All right, let's meet today's cast. First up, we have our bell peppers, which I'm going to be saving both of those plants, so they're gonna be separated and for now growing in separate cups so they can develop their root systems better. Next is the cucumbers, which we had uh, talked about a little bit in our walkthrough video. These um, in the back here, I think I'm going to snip to in this front cup, I'm gonna try and divide all these out into separate cups and save all of them. Uh, next we have our borage. Basil is next. And then next is the uh, zinnias. I'd wanna try and save as many flowers as possible this year, so um, we're gonna separate those a bit, give them a bit more space. I don't think I'm gonna end up thinning out any of them necessarily, although this one's a little genetic anomaly. I don't know if this guy's gonna stick around, but we shall see. So the first thing I'm going to do is start off with all these pots and get them about half full of this potting mix. And one thing too when you're going through, um, make sure your potting soil, you're breaking up any large clumps that you have. Um, you want to make it so it's real easy for those roots as they're growing to push their way through and find all their uh, nutrients and water and things. So. Uh, you want to make sure that you try and get rid of as many air pockets in the soil as you possibly can. Uh, reason being is once you water that, it's going to collapse that air bubble and it's going to drop the soil level and just kind of displace everything that you had so perfectly lined up. So one thing to combat that is just when you put your soil in, just kind of take your fingertips and just... That's it. You don't want to pack it down super tight. Super tight soil means that the roots can't get through like they need to. So there's a kind of happy medium. All right, so we've got all of our cups filled with dirt. Now we're gonna start separating out some plants and um, thinning some, seeing which ones get to live and which ones get to die. All right, so first up, let's do the cucumbers. These guys are really getting pretty tall and I don't want them to live in this cup anymore. So what I'm gonna do next is, um, over my little bit of dirt here, going to start to just pull this out. Marker, just kind of loosen up the cup and you might be able to kind of feel the roots giving way. All right, so I'm gonna tip it upside down. and squeezing you know and this process always looks so violent but seriously like don't stress too much all right here we go ta-da it's plants but oh my gosh you guys it smells like you love them. we have lots of roots going on here and I'm going to try and save as much as possible but Tease, save as much as we can, and I want to see if they will just release each other on their own. Oh, they're still kind of attached to the seeds here. Like right here. The seeds are, they're still Man, I hope these guys give it up because we really don't want to rip them apart. All right, so here's one. I'm not yanking, I'm not pulling, I'm just lightly working my fingers in, seeing what happens, trying not to pull. Here we go, here's another, oh, look at this long boy, long boy. And then there were two, and I'm just, I'm probably going to give a heart attack to any actual seasoned gardeners that are watching this. I am. I'm so sorry if I'm damaging these plants beyond all repair. Oh, see, look, while I was talking. Ta-da! All right, so I'm happy because the root system actually stayed with the plant. Um, so one of these is gonna go back in the cup that it was in. I 
I'd be willing to bet that this one single long root is a tap root. I don't actually know if cucumbers have tap roots, but I think that's a tap root if there ever was one. And then I jammed a, a big old hole with my finger down in there because I want to try and get the roots across the whole level of the cup. I don't want to like just make a ball of roots that it's sitting on. I want to try and get it spaced out. So, and then we're just gonna fill in around it nice and slow and steady and take in and just pack in, packing the dirt lightly around it, getting rid of air pockets. Gentle. And it's a cucumber plant. All right, let's do the other three. All right, so that was the first cup of cucumbers. They're all separated now. We've got four beautiful plants. Uh, two of which I'm looking for homes for, so if you would like some cucumber plants, let me know. They're little slicer boys. Uh, not going to be great for pickling, but great for your salads. Next up, let's do the bell peppers. Same story, it's not going to really be any different. I'm just going to get one into a separate cup and um, leave one in here to continue on. So first, let's get some dirt in the cup. Again, we're gonna loosen. Oh, okay, here's a plant. So I guess this is the one that's coming out. <laughs> All right, so you guys have the idea on what you're doing with splitting them up, separating them. Now we're gonna look at what you're gonna wanna do when you're thinning them. Pretty simple process. The only part that hurts is deciding which ones get to live or die. It's a very normal thing when you're gardening. It's just kind of part of the process if you don't have the space to be able to save every single plant. So how do you decide? I'm going to definitely go ahead and get rid of this guy. Now you might say, why would I want to get rid of the tallest one? Doesn't tall equate to a good healthy plant? Well, in this case, what this guy was doing is the light was sitting right here. And so these two are the ones that had the best access to the light and didn't need to expend a lot of energy growing up on their stalk. Whereas these two had to fight for that light and spend a lot of energy just growing that stem up. And so what that's done is caused it to be what they call leggy. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to snip these two outer ones and keep these two inner ones here. And um, I'm going to leave them in this cup. We're just gonna see what happens since I have extra cucumber plants. So you could take scissors, you could take pruning shears. I'm just gonna use my nail and I'm just gonna right down at the surface level. Sorry guys. All right, so I'm gonna work on splitting off the rest of these, but you guys basically have the hang of it. When in doubt, thin them out.
don't. Get all of those zinnias. <laughs> Oops. I am actually going to go ahead and snip off this one little um, Thumbelina zinnia that just has like deformed leaves and stuff. Um, I don't know what it would end up looking like. I just know that I don't want to waste space on something that might be a failure if I have other things that I could save. So that's what I'll do. Okay, so now that I've got them all separated into their little cups, thinned out, done what I want, I want to get water into all of them. So I've got all of the cups in, um, these are the lids from like the little uh, plastic greenhouses that you would sprout seeds. Um, two of those, and this is a cake pan, um, or what you got, and I'm just going to pour a little bit of water in them and let it soak up into the cups. Um, so that way I'm not watering from the top, displacing those seedlings, and getting the water right to the roots, um, since that's how plants drink. The leaves don't need the water, the roots do. Alright, so that is our quick little intro into how to separate or thin out your seedlings. Thanks so much for joining me today. Can't wait till next time. This is how Lola likes to spend her time, is pulling out all of the toys and not really picking a specific one, just wanna lay out all of them and revel in the, in the glory of the bulk. Oh yes. It's so exhausting being a dog and having no responsibilities.